why is there so many denominations? And each one has a theologian. People say things like, well, we can agree to disagree. No, we can't. No, we can't. Unity, one with Christ. This is the body of Christ, not the bodies. Not the body over here, the body over here, the body over here. No, there's one truth and the Lord wants us to get back to it. One truth. The Lord's been pulling you all these different times and you still haven't come to the Lord. And when that time comes, when the time is cut off, that's all you're going to be thinking about. It's how you should have came. It's how you should have answered the pull. It's how you should have answered the call. That's what you're going to be thinking about because you didn't decide to come to the Lord because you thought the world was going to go back to normal. Take heed to the trumpets. Take heed to the messengers. Wake up. Jesus is Lord. It's an idol at that point. If you can't get rid of something once you realize it's not of God, it's an idol. Welcome back my Golly Vibes family. I pray you guys are all well. Today's video is going to be very, very, very interesting. Um, a video popped up on my desk today. It was actually sent from a brother of mine in Christ. And it was a Vladimir Putin Right now, this gets very interesting. Stay to the end of this video because how I'm going to tie this in is what's going to matter the most. Hallelujah. So Vladimir Putin uh, was, set to, was set to open the oldest vault known to man. Right. And in this vault show Jesus show Yeshua HaMashiach. Right. But it was not. This Jesus. You know, first of all, I, I'm pretty sure we all know that that's not, we all, at some point, if we're, if we're grown, we knew that that wasn't Jesus in the first place, right? It wasn't that Jesus, though. It was this Jesus. Je it was a black Jesus that was shown in the oldest, oldest vault known to man. Not only that, but his followers were black. And I want you guys to watch this video of Vladimir Putin talking about it after he discovered this. This is actually very interesting what he says. Vladimir Putin, president of Russia, recently opened the oldest vault that shows a black Jesus. For many years, Jesus was considered white and the Putin's move could shock the entire world. People of Russia, today, we stand on the precipice of a monumental revolution. A moment that redefines not only our understanding of history, but also the path forward for our great nation. In an extraordinary discovery hidden beneath centuries of lore and legend. Hidden beneath centuries of lore and legend. Interesting. ...have opened what can only be described as the oldest vault known to mankind. What we found... The oldest vault known to mankind. The oldest vault known to mankind. Lord have mercy. Within its ancient confines, challenges the very fabric of our beliefs and heralds a new dawn for our country. Within this vault, we discovered figures of biblical proportions, characters that many have read about, debated and revered. These figures, preserved against the sands of time, reveal a truth that is as profound as it is transformative. They are all black. This revelation, this undeniable truth, stands before us not as a contradiction to our faith, but as a testament. Little apostles are showing the apostles. I mean, even when you Google early church fathers, to be honest, it shows uh, black individuals. To the diversity and unity that faith embodies. As your president, I see this moment not as a challenge to our beliefs, but as an opportunity to embrace a wider, more inclusive understanding. From this day forward, let us proclaim our nation under the guidance of Black Jesus, a figure who represents not just the cornerstone of Christian faith, but also a symbol of the universal values of love, compassion, and brotherhood. This Black Jesus, whose likeness and history have been unveiled from the oldest vault, is a message to us all that divinity knows no color, that spiritual truth transcends race, and that our common humanity binds us more tightly than our differences divide us. 
Let this discovery remind us that history is not just the story of those who wield power, but also of those whose contributions have been overlooked or forgotten. Wow. That is very, very interesting. I mean, that's going to be rough for people who call themselves Christians and happen to be racist. It's also... Um, it's also not something to really take pride in as a black individual because we don't take pride in flesh. You get what I mean? We do not take pride in flesh. Also, hallelujah, there is no, there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female for you are all one in Christ Jesus. So we are all one in Christ Jesus. Whether or not Yeshua's skin color was white, purple, orange, black. We are all one in the Lord. My question is, though, if Jesus was black, our darker skin, that means the Jews and the Hebrews then had dark skin. What happened? What happened? Over the time span of 2,000 years, what happened? Because you look over there now at different Jews now, there's not one black person. So if Jesus and the disciples and the, hallelujah, the people back then were were darker had darker skin tone had a darker skin tone what happened i mean when you really start to think about it it's just it's just really interesting what's going on i mean the more the more time progresses the more truth is being unfolded to be honest the the more truth is being unfolded so that's, it's just interesting to understand that this is a picture of Yeshua from the oldest vault known to man. Yet, we've been seeing this photo for I don't know how long in America. You know, and my question is this. Why did why when somebody drew Jesus, they drew him like this? Who drew who drew this Jesus? Who made this Jesus? What was in, what 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 inspired this person to draw the Jesus like this? Something inspired this person. It had, it, it had to be a spirit of some kind that was trying to cause division. That's all it does. That's all it does. It's called it cause division. Insane. Insane. Now, here's what I will say. And, and, and I want to I tie it all together and wrap it up with this. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter if Jesus is white. It doesn't matter if Jesus is black. It doesn't matter if Jesus is orange, purple. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. We understand that in Romans 2.29 it says that no man is a Jew because he is one inwardly. Um, oh, I'm sorry. A man is a Jew because he is one inwardly. Hallelujah. And circumcision is a matter of the heart by the spirit, not by the written code. Such a man's praise does not come from men, but from God. So this verse is saying that you're not a Jew because of your outer appearance. So you have a lot of different people out here, you know, like Hebrew Israelites or different people like not all of them, but a lot of them, you know, say uh, go against white people. Right. And try to say things like they're the devil or they're going to hell. God's not saving them. They're only he's only saving us. Buffoonery. We are Jews in the spirit. Hallelujah. We are Jews in the spirit. A man is a Jew because he is one inwardly. So even if you're white, 
Asian, Mexican, if you are in Christ, you are a Jew inwardly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What else? God is spirit. God is spirit. This is very important to understand. John 4, 24. God is spirit. God is spirit. So when you have people out here taking pride in the flesh of Yeshua, they're not really understanding. They're in a place of taking pride on what the outer appearance holds. Well, actually, we're light inside. God is spirit that came into flesh. Hallelujah. But God was spirit before he came into the flesh. So when you take pride in the flesh, you're really taking pride in flesh instead of God. You're really taking pride in, in, in flesh instead of spirit. When the Lord wants us to, to decrease the flesh and increase the spirit. Hallelujah. Very interesting, though. I mean, mind-blowing, to be honest. Mind-blowing, to be honest. Uh, I've been having so much stuff happen, you guys, to get me not to make this episode. I mean, I'm just praying the Lord for patience. It's, it's, I cannot believe how much stuff is going on, has been going on in the last couple minutes since I seen this video and then I decided to make an episode on it. I can't, I, I am shook right now. My Lord. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, you guys. So very interesting indeed. And what's even more interesting is how this is not even like, it's not, it's not being talked about at all. At all. But it's very, very interesting indeed. Because we've been learning about this Jesus. You know, um, and, and, and in all actuality, hallelujah, it's, 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 it's the spirit inside. You know, but my, 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 but, but my thing is, why even draw this Jesus? Why even make this Jesus? I don't even like... I don't like pictures of Yeshua if it's not Yeshua. You get what I'm saying? I'm not about to have a picture of my da- I'm not about to have a picture of a man on my refrigerator and say it's my dad when it's not really a picture of my dad. I mean that mess is just creepy in, in in itself. You shouldn't be having pictures of the Lord when it's not really the Lord. That's not what the Lord looks like. That's not that's not Yeshua. Why do you have a man on your wall that's not Yeshua? That's a whole different man. wild wild definitely wild <clears throat> but hallelujah I, I i i mainly wanted to just you know break it down to the fact that god is spirit amen god is spirit and you know i'm not one of those people who uh you know jump around like oh my gosh i knew it. i knew jesus i knew yeshua was black i know it i know it because I understand the spiritual aspect of what's going on. Hallelujah. The spirit came into flesh. Yeah, the flesh may have been black. But where in the Bible does it say take pride in the flesh? Where in the Bible does it say remember me by, remember me by my flesh? Remember that I'm black. It doesn't. Galatians 3.28, it is, it is no longer Jew nor Gentile. But we are all one in Christ. Hallelujah. We have to get to that point. Because when you don't, you let other things get built in you. You let different seeds get planted into your garden and they start growing different trees. That is not of God's nature. Which is how separation and division happens. You get me? A spirit of racism came in. And started doing these different things. Drawing that Jesus that people that we've seen on different candles and stuff. That's division. And it's a lie. It's a, it's, it's a lie. That's not Yeshua. It's crazy. Very interesting, man. 
Um, I got. I, I want to know what you guys. Uh, what you guys think in the comments? Please post what you think, you guys. This is a very interesting story. I mean, to just see this just blew my mind. And then hear what uh, Putin was saying is just wild. And then not see it anywhere, like as far as social media platforms when it comes to the U.S. It's mind, it's mind bottling, huh? That's wild. I'm not gonna lie to you. But definitely interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Hallelujah. I'll be reading some of the comments and replying. Amen. Let me know what you guys think. God bless. Shalom.